All right, keep this. Oh my God, opponents on the, no! Don't, don't, burn! Am I just gonna play burn all night? <laughs> I don't want to do that. I would much prefer to not play against burn all night. Um. <laughs> yeah, I got MTG bot now, and oh, thanks, I appreciate that. Yeah, it's it's my own it's my own thing. <laughs> yeah, opponent is on the burns. We're just gonna play all burn all night. <laughs> I have to wait till the reason I play Delver there is because for one, we're playing against burn, so I can't really wait. Um, and two, I have to hit another land drop to make these Apostles Blessing useful with my Nivix Cyclops. So hopefully they just let me on tap with this Delver. Who knows if they will. And I, I thanks so much for the compliment on the music. It's uh, It means a lot. I think last year was probably my best effort. And I hope this year will be even better. Searing Blaze. Just an Archer. Okay, so we can deal with that Archer and leave up Apostles Blessing, which is a pretty big game. All right, flip Delver. Come on. Do it. Crap. <laughs> all right um no flip on the delver so we'll pass through find a mountain play the mountain bolt the archer leave up some protection for our delver and go to attacks it's kind of like a non <laughs> yeah <laughs> the song titles are very goofy <laughs> yeah i don't know i was in a weird mood last year um some pretty some pretty serious personal stuff was going down and it was kind of like a really great escape for me they're going to Lava Spike us, as you would. Not too concerned with this Delver at all. <laughs> They're going to Needle Drop us. Yep. Yeah. <laughs> and all the song titles do mean something. Like, they're, they're usually meaningful towards the lyrics in some way, so... <laughs> that song that song's about the Galder Amulet from Skyrim. So you know how it, the whole all the lyrics are about um, killing the Galder the Galder family and stealing the Galder amulet from underneath the waterfall. <laughs> so that's what that song's all about. I'm going to wait until I hit another land drop before I commit one of these Nivy boys. And uh, I'm just going to get him with Delver and hope I don't die. <laughs> yeah, it's a, uh, and you know what? Like that song was uh, kind of kicking around before I started writing the record. And it was like, I just had some like chip tunes for it. Like I write all of them in chip tunes before I record them. And, uh, and anyway, so that one was just like kicking around as a chip tune, and I was like, I should do some guitar to this. And then it was like this shredding kind of like, you know, math metal song. And then I just added, uh, not math metal, but like math rock song. And I just added a bunch of lyrics about Skyrim to it. And I was very happy with the result. <laughs> All right, let's flip Delver. <laughs> I should have more D&D &D songs. D&D &D is much more a part of my life than, uh, than it once was. All right, Dispel has entered the revealed zone. That's a pretty good one. All right, so let's go to attacks. We have Dispel and Apostle's Blessing. Feeling good about that. I'm gonna cast this Nivy Boy. Opponent probably gonna be wary of Dispel. So let's cast Nivix Cyclops. Leave up our Dispel. And yeah, D D. Like I said, D D has become a much bigger part of my life this year, and I could see myself writing it. I was also thinking of writing like just chip tunes for like the beginning and end of videos and stuff, but. Spook him with that Dispel reveal. Yeah, don't go casting any instance, opponent. Don't want to be doing anything crazy like that, huh? Well, it's Bolt or Face. Uh, maybe we should save Bolt to the Face. Maybe we should just get in with Delver, right? We Bolt him to the Face here. This goes up to four. And then if we Apostles Blessing, Apostles Blessing, this goes up to ten. So we can get in. Oh, we can actually do Lethal here. Um, so let's do that. Let's Bolt them. Yeah, I was thinking about doing that, too. So make sure our Nivix Cyclops has an opportunity to attack. And then we will Apostle's Blessing the Insectile Aberration. Pump up the Cyclops. Yep. And we will give it protection from red. And then we will Apostle's Blessing the... Nivix Cyclops, pay two life, pump up the Cyclops, give it protection from red, and swing for a win. 
We can just counter their instant spell, so I'm not like super worried about it. Nice, okay, we got it. <laughs> You're playing against mono black control. Oh, welcome to Popper. <laughs> um, one of my first, so I was hanging out in the Just For Fun rooms for like a very long time. And then I had this brew, I was like, you know, killing it in Just For Fun. And, uh, and I decided to take it into, I think this is like, this had to have been like three years or so ago now. Um, whenever Paul Cheon was playing Legacy Storm on stream. Anyway, um, so I I brought my brew into tournament practice just to run into um just to run into M Blovo on mono black control, and I got wrecked. <laughs> just got garried for four. Yeah, that's the first Gary is never the worst Gary, but the Garys do continue to get worse. Make a trailer for your D&D &D sessions in a world ravished by XYZ. Heroes fight for the greater good. MacGuffins, loot and money, of course. <laughs> What's a MacGuffin? I'm kind of thinking Dispel's a trap in this matchup. But we might be able to dispel our own gush and pull it out, so... <laughs> Let's do that. Let's be a degenerate combo deck and win a bunch of games. Wow, this is a great hand, huh? This is a great hand. <laughs> oh, come on. One island and this is like in. So I have a scry, a redraw, and I'm on the draw. How often do you keep a no lander? Yeah, it's never the first Gary that kills you. What do you think, guys? What do you think? Over under. Over under, do I keep this? Do I lose the match on this keep or not? Because I'm kind of feeling <laughs> like this is like, you know, <laughs> all or nothing okay <laughs> thank you he was in water <laughs> save me from myself all right i'll keep this one as the as the great andrea mangucci would say you know ponder ponder preordain keep <laughs> there's a martyr of ashes cool you know martyr of ashes isn't too good against nel delver <laughs> Um, and I'm not super worried about hitting land drops just yet. We're going to get a little bit of a scry off of Delver. Um, and then we can choose whether we want to ponder or preordain. We are going to try to hit our land drop with one of these cantrips next turn. And we'll set up Delver too. They can just murder of Ash in response to Delver flip. You know I would have traded there too. And there's that. Ugh. Okay, not looking great. <laughs> flip the Delver. Flip the Delver. Evolving wilds. Okay, no. We will not reveal Evolving Wilds. We will Ponder. I have no hand and five slivers on board. He has four cards in hand with Witches and a Gary. Hmm. <laughs> Just watch out for that Gary, homeboy. All right, so this will be a shuffle. Can't cast any of these spells for a minute. We would like to shuffle our library, yes. We find another untapped land. So I think... Because we shuffled off of that one, I think I'm going to try to line up a decent little ponder here. I guess I could scry a couple times, but yeah, let's let's ponder. We might run into a mutagenic growth that could potentially save a bunch of cards we can't cast. Okay, so I'm going to go Island, Bolt, Cyclops. So we'll draw Bolt next turn, and then we'll shuffle away the land with our Evolving Wilds. And I'm pretty willing to trade this Delver with either of those. Actually, no, it'll flip next turn if they don't do anything about it. So let's just not attack. A MacGuffin. Sometimes a MacGuffin or Magguffin is a plot device in the form of some goal, desired object, or other motivator that the protagonist pursues, often with little or no narrative explanation. The MacGuffin's importance of the plot is not the object itself, but rather its effect on the characters and their motivations. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Congrats on the win, Kirk. And I and I I feel like I need a little bit a, a better bit of a look at uh at what a MacGuffin is. Um I think I'm gonna trade with this Martyr of Ashes because I'm gonna play this Nivic Cyclops pretty soon. Actually, nah. Nah. There's a chance that we like we cantrip into and like I guess we can just bolt it. We can cantrip into Yep. We can cantrip into something that isn't uh, that can protect the Delver. So you've been using them D and D. The three orbs are your MacGuffins. Oh, okay. 
You mean that plot device that I just like completely shove in your face pretty much every time we play, but you guys blatantly ignore regardless? <laughs> um, I don't think I want either of these things. So I'm going to bottom both of these and try to find a way to protect Delver. There's a way to protect Delver. All right, get in. Although protecting Delver on this board doesn't look super duper hot. Yeah, this is only, that's only creatures without flying, so the window is kind of closed for them there. And I can protect it with Apostle's Blessing, but I can also do that if I manage to draw land and play this Cyclops next turn. Try to combo off and win with this Gush. All right, let's see what they want to do. They're going to attack for five. Well, that might have been kind of a bad, <laughs> bad play by attacking on my part, but I'm not going to win without attacking, so... All right, let's see what they've got. They might just have me dead. Ugh. <laughs> yeah, maybe leaving Delver Black back was correct there. The worst murder gets. Yeah, that's true too. But if they just cast three burn spells here, I'm dead. <laughs> so does this deal to players too? No. Okay. So I'll probably have to kill one of these Firebrand Archers unless I can just straight win next turn. It's a bit of a bummer. Kind of looking like what's going to happen. <laughs> wow, this deck is hard to play. <laughs> okay, um, so that was bad. Teamer Battle Rage. That ain't going to do it, team. Um... So the number of burn spells that kill us next turn is quite daunting. <laughs> I think we have to gush this turn, which means we'll at best be able to leave up Apostle's Blessing. I mean, we can win next turn if they can't kill us here, but we have to cast this Nivix Cyclops, which is like... I'm going to gush. Yeah, do need to stop the bleeding. The bleeding was too considerable. That might have even been a bit too much bleeding there last turn. <laughs> yeah, kill the alchemist for sure. And then we end up having to leave back Delver to block, which really sucks. Ugh. Yeah. All right, so let's kill... Thermal Alchemist. And just pass it to them and hope we're not dead, I guess. <laughs> Ooh, this is rough. <laughs> this is, I, this feels so inconsistent, but I'm, I'm probably also bad at it. Like maybe I committed this Nivix Cyclops earlier, right? Maybe instead of ever playing this Delver, I probably didn't attack with Delver next last turn in a perfect world. Yep, I'll definitely trade with one of these Firebrand Archers. They just eat this. But I probably would rather do this here. And I don't want to do deal two to myself to be Apostle's Blessing anything. <laughs> They're going to bolt our face. Yep. We go to five? We go to... We go much lower than that. <laughs> we go to three. And do you have the other burn spell opponent? Doesn't look like they do. Oh, wait. They just had damage on board. Good stuff. Okay. Um, gosh. All right. Well, I think you just got to run it back. I feel like these Stormbound guys are supposed to come in. I feel like there's some number of not... There's like... Less dispels and more stormbound geists in this world. Like I think we like down a delver and a dispel for two stormbound geists. I kind of want to do that. <laughs> the sneakiest kind of damage. <laughs> you never expect the burn on the ground. Yeah, we shouldn't have been getting aggro with that delver. We weren't going to win the next turn, so there's probably no reason to force through damage. They could have had us dead a number of times there, and that was like a clunky draw from them. These stormbound guys. This this probably isn't the matchup. I think it's just, it's greedy to take out this Dispel, but I think I will put in a Geist instead of a Delver. It would have been a lot better on that board. 
All right, so let's do this, and we would love to play first. Ugh. <laughs> we got a Swift Water Cliffs. The Burn Killer, but we've got no threat, so we've got a redraw, and we got a bolt for their first creature. <sighs> I actually kind of want to keep this. I think I'm going to keep this. Most people have stopped playing Delvers for this reason and run Augur Bolas. Yeah. Augur Bolas does block better. I'm going to keep this. This is also just one of... It's, it's got something to do with that that uh, kind of dichotomy that exists where... Um, oh, really? <laughs> well. <laughs> I'm keeping it for the redraw. <laughs> yeah, my hand is slow. Uh, that probably was a bad keep. Yeah, I think I think Augur's probably better too. All right, opponent's gonna sneak through a lava spike. Turn one. <sighs> That's the nightmare, right? You find your next island. All right, so let's probe them. See what they got going on. They have blue. Don't draw land. Searing blaze. Searing blaze. They only have the one land. They're stuck on land this second. I got the Fire Blast. I'm going to snip this. Hold up. <laughs> um, hopefully this doesn't break the stream. Has the stream broken? Did everything break just then? I hope not. Okay, so you know what's in their hand. Okay. Draw another land. Rip. <laughs> Play it out. That's the turn. <laughs> Nothing is broken. Everything is fine. <laughs> I'm okay. I'm I'm probably dead here. There's Martyr of Ashes. They didn't find their land, I don't think. We'll get an island for the gushing. Here comes Martyr of Ashes. If we draw another land, come on. Deck. But this isn't even a little bit how we drew it up, pal. <laughs> uh. <laughs> It was like a couple more lands than we probably should have drawn. Like there should have been less lands. <laughs> no panic. No panic. Just live. They're going to hit for one with this Martyr of Ashes. Yeah, I don't. Like, I think I might just. It's kind of the only thing that I got going on right now. I think I'm just going to bolt it. Now playing Is It Lands in Popper. Riftbolt entered the exile zone. Yep. Sure did. Ugh. Well, it's another redraw. Oh, crap. <laughs> Pay the blue mana first, then get the snipper. Then look at the cards. <laughs> did I say that? I didn't say it's good to have land, did I? Because, <laughs> like... <laughs> Not a lot of land in this deck. <laughs> Don't quote me on that. All right, so they found their land, which they sandbagged. Um, and there's Thermo Alchemist and a bunch of Searing Blazes. Okay, all right, everything's fine. Everything is fine. Opponent sending me a message about the land drop. <laughs> <laughs> No bamboozle. <laughs> Is that how you spell bamboozle? I guess it doesn't really matter. <laughs> My clock matters more. I'm at 14 minutes here, team. Very little experience with the uh, with the clipping tool. <laughs> All right, opponent's probably just gonna win, <laughs> like pretty much now. All right, here comes Riftbolt. I kind of, if I was them, I kind of would have thrown down the alchemist there. But maybe they're trying to sandbag Searing Blazes so they played something that dies to Searing Blaze. <laughs> this is Jeff, probably better known as any new province, playing some Is It Lands in Popper. <laughs> don't, don't worry about breaking your brain. I got you. I got you covered. Well, let's have none of that nonsense. I guess we're a control deck now. 
a control deck that draws a bunch of mutagenic growths. <laughs> this is an awful lot of lands, guys. <laughs> um, so we saw that, and we saw that. Yep. There's Firebrand Archer. <laughs> Probably too late anyhow. Yeah, we're pretty much dead. Well, there's a fiend. I mean, pretty much dead isn't completely dead, right? <laughs> we can give her protection from Searing Blaze next turn, and then they'd have to Fire Blast it, which is like... Consolation of sorts, I guess. But I can hard cast Gushes now. I wouldn't, though. I don't know if you guys remember how I cast Dazes. Oftentimes incorrectly they played their land there right um yep okay so we're gonna have to apostles blessing but we take two damage doing that but uh, i will apostles blessing it paying one and a face giving it pro red i mean we got like very little going on yeah you can't lava spike it Got that going for you, <laughs> you know. It's good to have. It's good to have a. It's good to have a, a positive outlook. <laughs> Searing blaze. Does this still deal damage to us? Oh, bummer. <laughs> so they have fire blast. They have another searing blaze, and they have lava spike. So lava spike puts us down to. I think we're dead. Lava spike puts us down to seven. No, we're not dead. We're not just dead. Yes, we are. This fire blast. <laughs> They have a Fire Blast in hand. We're dead, right? Sack two mountains, deals one, we're dead. Well, I, I don't know, I'll make them show it to me. I don't know if they're slow rolling it or something for wasting their time. <laughs> um, There's Teamer Battle Rage. Bummer. <laughs> so is that even enough? We can't get, we're just, <laughs> oh my God. <laughs> well let's attack the kiln fiend <laughs> we already are dead and will you block you won't block all right team of battle rage they probably think we have um uh dispel but really we just got a bunch of lands in our hand <laughs> All right, time to next level the opponent. Time to next level them. Two cards in hand. Just dead to fire blast. <laughs> I watched the weirdest tournament stream yesterday. In the VOD of the stream in the top eight, a Boros player plays Skyfisher, targets Prophetic Prism, and then in response, casts Skuldotha Rebirth, and the commentators didn't realize that this is not how it works. <laughs> no, you're supposed to pick it up. <laughs> Draw the card. I'm next level in the crap out of my opponent here. <laughs> This isn't even lethal. <laughs> yeah, we're just dead. Cast Fire Blast, opponent. Cast it. <laughs> Do it. <laughs> oh, it's a sorcery. Oh. And we're just dead. <laughs> Have a good night, Burn.